break time. Got the uh, campsite cleared of sticks and uh, briars, most of them, the ones I can find. Went ahead and got my Arturus. Come on, turn, dude. Hang on. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, I got my Arturus laid out. That's where my tent's going to be. I put it down in case I did miss a briar or two. Yes, I am shirtless. It's 90-ish degrees, or it feels like it anyway, in Alabama. Doesn't take long to get hot. So I'm taking a break. While I'm taking a break, you know, I've talked about this before. Hey, buddy. Hey, puppy dog. Uh, you know, when you're in the shape that I'm in, busted leg with rods in it, uh, you know, mid-50s, you have to uh, know your limitations. You have to know when you're getting close to pushing yourself over the edge. Uh, I don't claim to be some damn gung-ho minute man. I never have. Do I have Minute Man stuff? Yeah. I sure do. Oh. But am I going to be the one out on the battlefield? No. I can tell you right now, just this, just getting the camp ready and setting it up has, has got me to the point where uh, I'm out sweating my water. <laughs> So, you know, you have to know what your limitations are. You have to be real with yourself. Yeah, my mind feels like it can do anything. My mind feels like it's still 18, 19 years old. And I'll get it in my head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do things. And then I get out there and I start doing it. And I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> you know. All joking aside, it's important to know what your limitations are. You don't want a, a fun camping trip to turn into something where you're going to have to go to the hospital. I do have a first aid pack with me, first aid uh, IFAC. I have my little homemade IFAC that I made. Uh, it's got chest seals and shears and tourniquets and everything that I need with it. It's, it's, it's with me. You don't never know. Uh, I could trip over a stob over there, which I've already tripped over like three times. Uh, legally blind. Hello. Hard for me to see sometimes. Especially with sweat in my eyes. Uh, so, you know, having that medical stuff here is, is important to me. Uh, you know, Y'all can go, I mean, I know most of you have, but y'all can go look at my personal SHTF playlist where I broke my leg in half. Yeah. I don't want to do that again. So, uh, if you feel like you push yourself to the edge, stop a minute. Better to sit down and rest and get less done and be called whatever, I don't care, than to get out here, to, to be the guy that everybody's making videos about who went camping and, and ended up dead because he was stupid. Better, better uh, safe than sorry. Ah. I probably should have waited till October to do this, but I'm already in here. I'm, I'm doing it now. Serious talk from somebody who is pretty serious about prepping. I don't claim to be no expert, but uh, this is real, real talk. Not a bunch of sell me, buy me this bull crap, and that bull crap. You know, real. All right, that's uh.
part three. I'm sitting down taking a break. Drinking my ice water out of my Nalgene that my mom got me for Christmas. I like the Nalgene in the summertime. When it gets uh, first of November, I'll change my pack over to the wintertime setup, which is my Self-Reliance Outfitter steel bottle, which is the same size, basically. It's just metal. Don't want a lot of hot drinks right now, you know, so the metal is not as important right now to me. You know, if I can go with something that's a little bit lighter weight and does the same function, I'm all about it. For right now, anyway. God bless you all. This farmer son prepping.